So the first topic I want to talk about in terms of Jason's playing is the, the use of scales. So he likes to use the major scale on all the different modes. He also likes to use some, some symmetrical scales like the diminished scale and the whole tone scale. Um, and lastly, you can also find the Hiroyoshi scale in his playing. Um, you can find this scale called the Hunan Kumoi, the Hon Kumoi, the Iwata scale, Ragam Ritarashini, or M Kumoi. They're all the same scale, it's just the different modes of that scale. Now, as far as the Hiroyoshi scale goes, like the construction is just 1, 2, flat 3, 5, and flat 6. Sounds like this. <laughs> Now the next topic or the next next technique we'll be looking at is the actual sweep arpeggios. This is probably the technique that's made him the, the that's giving him the the most fame because he, he's incredibly um, um incredibly fluid in his use of arpeggios. Now conceptually, what he's doing he's going through the the different arpeggios of the different chords. So for example, if you have a minor, F major, and G major. What he's doing, he's he's playing A minor arpeggio, F A, a minor arpeggio for the A minor chord, F major arpeggio for the F chord, and then G major arpeggio for the G chord. And moving through to the different shapes. That's another thing he likes to do. He doesn't stay on the same shape. And he doesn't sometimes he doesn't play the whole shape. He just does like a a mini arpeggio or like half of the the full shape of the arpeggio. So instead of going oh my god and he like he likes to mix both those types of, of arpeggios and and shapes. Another thing he likes to do is just move between the different shapes. So he might go shapes and positions. I mean, so he might go, and as soon as he's done with that arpeggio, he moves up to the next position and goes like this. Now, the other thing we can find in his playing, in, in terms of the sweeps, I'm only doing major and minor triad arpeggios. But you can also find diminished arpeggios, you can find extended type arpeggios. So what this means is you can find different extensions in like the 11s, 13s, 9s, stuff like that. Um, now the last topic I'm going to touch upon is the, the use of expressive vibrato or, or the, and the use of whammy bar. So when he plays, when he phrases his notes, he doesn't just go and play this note and leave it stale like that. He likes to use a little bit of vibrato. It's a kind of aggressive, but not too aggressive. So he might go. So it's not incredibly subtle, like a classical vibrato or the type of vibrato someone like um, I don't know, Alan Holdsworth might use. Um, but it's not incredibly aggressive, like someone like Sack Wild might do. Now the other thing is he likes to do bends also and he likes to use the whammy bar so he could go just to add a little bit of that vibrato flavor but it's like that whammy bar sound it's not it's not the same as going like this he could go Finally I'd like to invite you to go to jasonbeckerguitar.com and make a donation on his part you could also help him out by buying some merch, so t-shirts, stuff like that. You could also find custom signature equipment, like his signature guitar models, signature pickups, and signature pedals. Now that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment below, subscribe, and hit the like button.